Welcome back to Small Cap Nation. I'm Julia Sun in New York. Joining me this morning is Mr. Joseph Konovitsi, CEO of Apollo Enterprise Solutions. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank <laughs> How you. are you? Terrific. You, my friend, are a renaissance man. Oh. Um, you're a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, you are an M&A banker. You are a healthcare specialist. And now you are pushing your way into technology and services. Yes. So talk about what you're doing with your company. We are dedicated to the science of the customer experience online. And what I mean by that is, is that we put the human element back into the online experience to help people to do what they otherwise want to do. And we do that with two major pieces of our technology. One is what we call real-time decisioning, uh, agent emulation, as if you're talking to the smartest live agent that an institution has to offer. And the other is, is we combine behavioral science, linguistics, and strategic positioning to come up with what we call psychographic persuasion technology to allow people to be emotive and to push them and to encourage them to do what they otherwise want to do. And we do all this on a real-time, self-serve, automated basis. The most important thing I would imagine for the end users, your customers' customers, um, are, is probably the live agent prompting system. Um, can you talk about that? How sure. does the process work? Sure. So what we do is we take the business rules of an institution and we digitize those rules. And then we connect into the systems of that institution to pull out the files of the individuals so that we can make real-time offers to them and to give them choices um, as it relates to purchasing, servicing, or paying for any kind of consumer credit oriented product or service. How much do you rely on big data in the extrapolation of all these information? So big data is important for us. We don't call ourselves a big data company per se, but we do is we keep the analytics of the actual uh, information that runs through the system. So we counsel our clients as to tactics, how they can improve the offers that they're making to individuals, again, either to purchase a product or even to pay for a product pre or post arrears. And as you might suspect, being late on any kind of payment is one of the most complex of all transactions that a financial institution has to, of course. has to take on. When you make predictions for the future, is there anything you're collecting that we should know about? In counseling the institutions, we will share all that data with them. And of course, it's done on a redacted basis, so there's confidentiality about individual information. But what we will do is, is we'll be able to uh, organize the data in such a way so that a 25-year-old such as yourself will know whether she is able to take advantage of these offers or not, and we share that information with the institution. Mm -hmm. I see this as a tremendous growth market because every end user is looking for a better experience. But for you and your company, where do you see the growth coming from specifically? <laughs> We've partnered with some of the biggest financial players in the world on the OEM side as well as on the uh, consulting side. And we're getting in front of their clients. We're getting in front of uh, uh, various industries from uh, banking and finance to government to utilities to healthcare to straight retail. Um, so we have, a, we have a lot of bridges and, and roads that we, right. can, we can travel on. As of now, who are your clients? And in the future, who do you want to get as clients? We see the application in a myriad of industries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about capital market. Sure. Right now, your company is listed in Frankfurt, Germany. Correct. Right? We're, and, that's correct. And you're exploring the possibility of listing in the United States as well. We're now of, of a certain uh, girth and size and capability that it's right for us to increase market float, uh, to raise additional capital, take advantage of the growth. Uh, I think we have some very unique characteristics in our company. Uh, I think we have a proven management team. and. From an insider standpoint, uh, in almost four years of being public, we've not had one sale of an insider share. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, people are really dedicated to the growth yeah, of the company. Yeah, that says a lot when no insider is selling. What is the advantage of dual listing? So we're an international company. And our markets are international. 
Uh, we're aggressively uh, looking in markets in EU, UK, obviously the United States, but also in places like Australia, mm -hmm. Brazil, where there's a large appetite for consumerism and where there's a high adoption of technology, mainly a smartphone. Mm -hmm. I mean, if one has a smartphone, you can do anything. we can do anything. Yeah. And in places like Brazil, which might have a uh, infrastructure that's a little challenged, yet they only bank primarily sure. with a smartphone, yes. more so than here in the United States, for instance. So it's perfect for our technology. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Mr. Joseph Konovietsky, CEO of Apollo Enterprise Solutions. And thank you for joining us today. I'm Julia Sun in New York. For more interesting stories, please visit us online at www.smallcapnation.com.